Press, 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 come to me. Come to me. I want to emphasize that the Nigerian army, as the name implies, Nigerian army, is army for Nigeria. Is staffed from the members of the Nigerian society to defend the territorial integrity of, the integrity of Nigeria. And so, if Nigeria army will succeed in various theaters of operations across the country, what do we expect from members of the Nigerian society? We expect cooperation from them. We expect information from them. And that is why the Nigerian army carry out as part of its constitutional responsibility, as part of its training activities, also have a department, which they call Civil Military Affairs Department, that interfaces between the Nigerian society and the Nigerian army. And that department is responsible to ensure that we chart a very cordial relationship with the members of the Nigerian society. All we need, if operation is going on in your community, you have to cooperate with us. You have to give us information. Because those causing trouble in our society, they are not spirits. They are not from, from uh, the moon. They are not from the blues. They are from within the community. And members of the community know them. So it, is, it behoves of the members of the community to tell us who are these people perpetrating evil so that we can do our job and leave the rest to members of the police to keep us. seen today is in continuation of the Nigerian army efforts towards a deliberate method for adaptive and mission-oriented training, which of course is very crucial to curtailing the present security situation across Nigeria. In this context, the Chief of Army Staff approved the training of Nigerian Army Battalions for mission-specific counter-terrorism and counter-insurgency training here in Nigerian Army Training Center, Kotangura. The narrative of Exercise Fast Boat 2 started as a joint training project between the United States Office of Security Cooperation, USOSC for short, and this center to train Nigerian Army personnel on identified areas of tactical deficiencies in the field. Running with this concept, uh, interestingly, we have uh, successfully trained and graduated 103 battalion, sometimes in late 2022 together with the U.S. partners. However, going forward, when our U.S. partners will no longer show up due to one reason or the other, the already groomed local content fully took ownership of this initiative. Afterwards, we have trained and graduated for demonstration battalion 81 Battalion, and today we are witnessing the graduation of 82 Battalion. 
dimensioned units are already deployed in different theaters of operation across the country with great testimonials of performance and operational exploits. Today's graduation ceremony is a culmination of 12 weeks of rigorous training for troops of 82 Battalion. A total of 596 trainees, all ranks, will be graduating today. These graduates have undergone intensive training in aspect of counterterrorism and counterinsurgency operations. This is to enable them to carry out combat tasks effectively, either on similar or unfamiliar uh, terrain. For emphasis, the training was structured to stretch the trainee's limit of physical endurance, improve their knowledge in fit crafts, and sharpen their combat techniques, as well as confidence in handling battlefield situations, particularly through weapon handling and marksmanship. All of these mentioned competencies are regardless of whether it is by day or night. Very soon, we expect to hear good news of gallantry in wherever theater operation of operation the unit may be deployed. The 12-week intensive training package was focused on counter-terrorism and counter-insurgency operations. In line with my command philosophy, we seek, among others, to transform Nigerian army into a well-trained force. Expectedly, it is evident that the troops of 82 Battalion are now well primed for deployment into various theaters of operations to put into practice the skills learned during the training. I was adequately briefed on how receptive you all were to learning. And I must say, I am proud of you all. As you all are aware, our dear country is faced with numerous security threats. As a force constitutionally empowered to defend the country against external threats, and I am confident that with the level of training you have acquired here, you will perform well in the field.